want to come Bible study with me, I'm looking at Matthew 13. I'm looking at Matthew 13. I suggest you have a read through the whole chapter so that you can gain the context because I'm not reading through the whole chapter. I am looking at two verses particular. Now, to give a brief for those people that do not have a Bible with them, um, it's about the parable of the sower. Okay. Now, I am going to be reading verses 22-23. The one who received the seed that fell among the thorns is the man who hears the word, but the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth choke it, making it unfruitful. But the one who received the seed that fell on good soil is the man who hears the word and understands it. He produces a crop yielding a hundred, sixty or thirty times what was sown. Now I'm going to read that first one again. The one who received the seed that fell among the thorns is the man who hears the word, but the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth choke it making it unfruitful the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth choke it making it unfruitful let's have a think about that for a second now if you think about your life on a daily okay what goes on around you what it is that you have to do, your responsibilities, your chores, etc. right? Got to go and get the kids from school. Have to go to work. Have to earn money to be able to buy the food. Um, have to go to the shops. Have to go and buy that food so that you can cook your food. And then you're going to spend all the time in the kitchen preparing the food. And then you've got the time eating the food. And then before before you know it, you're going to get into bed and it's going to be, oh, I'm so tired. I didn't read the Bible today. But do you know what? I might do it tomorrow instead. Now, Satan likes to attack us with distractions. He doesn't want us to be able to have a connection with God. He doesn't want us to have that connection because we then may use our talents and our giftings to share the word that we've been given in a way that's going to help God here on earth to get him far and wide. Yeah? We want to be that seed that falls on good soil. Remember verse 23. But the one who received the seed that fell on good soil is the man who hears the word and understands it. He produces a crop yielding 160 or 30 times what was sown. Okay, let's go back to the distractions again, right? Think about this. Now, Jesus is the son of God. Jesus is God incarnate on the earth. God made into flesh. He came that we might have life and live it more abundantly. He also died on the cross, taking our punishment on him, our sins, our sickness, our diseases on himself, right? Then he's resurrected on the third day. And then about 500 witnesses see him in his resurrected form before he ascends into heaven. Now those people that hear this good news, right? The fact that he died on the cross for us, took our punishment so that we don't have to so we don't have to deal with all the sickness, disease and everything else. And we have eternal life. Eternal life. If we believe what it is that Jesus has done. That Jesus is Lord. Are you getting this? 
right? Satan does not want people to know. So he will throw you distractions your way. He will make you busy. He will try any way he possibly can do to stop you from doing what it is that God has commissioned you to do. When you have the Holy Spirit in you, he gives you giftings. He gives you talents for you to be able to do your bit, be in a living testament, sharing God's information around the world, bring in God's kingdom here on earth. We have to stand up. We have to rise up. We have to be strong, even if we have distractions, even if we have responsibilities, even if we have hundreds of things to do throughout the day. We still need to be that seed that falls on the good soil to be able to get God's word out there, to do what it is that he has purposed for us to do. It's important. It's in the Bible. Have a read through Matthew 13. Have a think about your life. What are you doing each day? It's not only about what time are you having time with God in prayer, your quiet time. You know, that's important just as much so. But it's also about what are you doing on a daily to share God's word with other people that need to know him. His plan, his will. Not ours. We are merely vessels to be used for him. If you disagree, let me know in the comments below. But if you believe that Jesus is Lord, he is who he says he is, he's done what he says he's done. If you believe in the one that God has sent, you get given eternal life. That's amazing stuff. And that's what we need to share. It's important. Thanks for listening. Have a good day. Bye-bye.